fly-by-wire accidents and incidents. The following events involved aircrafts fitted with fly-by-wire control system. Aircraft incidents or accidents are very rarely caused by one single factor and in almost all cases, there were several causal factors or a chain of errors leading up to the event. The events depicted in this video may be caused by one or more causal factors or a chain of errors and may not involve fly-by-wire control system. In this video, we explore some selected incidents or accidents involving aircraft fitted with fly-by-wire control system, which may or may not include flight envelope protection as a factor. Over the years, fly-by-wire control system has been proven to be safe and efficient for flight operations whether for general aviation or civilian and military operations and the technology has been adopted by most aircraft manufacturers. If you haven't watched our video about fly-by-wire, you can watch it by following the link in the description. Disclaimer, this video is not an analysis or investigation into these events. Airbus A33200 and Route Rio de Janeiro 2009 Air France Flight 447 was a scheduled international passenger flight from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to Paris, France. Inconsistent airspeed indications and miscommunication led to the pilots inadvertently stalling the Airbus A330. They failed to recover the plane from the stall, and the plane crashed into the Mid-Atlantic Ocean at 2.14 Universal Time Coordinated, killing all 228 passengers and crew on board. The investigation by France's Bureau of Inquiry and Analysis for Civil Aviation Safety, BEA, was initially hampered because the aircraft's flight recorders were not recovered from the ocean floor until May 2011, nearly two years after the accident. The BEA's final report, released at a press conference on July 5, 2012, concluded that the aircraft suffered temporary inconsistencies between the airspeed measurements, likely resulting from ice crystals obstructing the aircraft's pitot tubes, which caused the autopilot to disconnect. The crew reacted incorrectly to this, causing the aircraft to enter an aerodynamic stall which the pilots failed to correct. The accident is the deadliest in the history of Air France, as well as the deadliest aviation accident involving the Airbus A330. Airbus A33200 en route, near Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, 2012. On February 27, 2012, the crew of an Airbus A330 en route at night and crossing the East African coast at flight level 360 encountered sudden violent turbulence as they flew into a convective cell not seen on their weather radar and briefly lost control as their aircraft climbed 2,000 feet with resultant minor injuries to two occupants. The investigation concluded that the isolated and rapidly developing cell had not been detected because of crew failure to make proper use of their weather radar, but noted that activation of flight envelope protection and subsequent crew action to recover control had been appropriate. Airbus A319, vicinity Tunis, Tunisia, 2012. On March 24, 2012, an Air France Airbus A319 captain continued descent towards destination Tunis at high speed with the landing runway in sight well beyond the point where a stabilized approach was possible. With five nautical miles to go, airspeed was over 100 knots above the applicable V approach and the aircraft was descending at over 4,000 feet per minute with flaps zero. EGPWS activations for sink rate, pull-up and too low terrain apparently went unnoticed, but at 400 feet above ground level, ATC granted a crew request for a 360 degrees turn. The subsequent approach landing was without further event. Investigation attributed the event to sloppy CRM. Airbus A320, vicinity Tel Aviv Israel, 2012. On April 3rd, 2012, the crew of an Air France Airbus A320 came close to losing control of their aircraft after accepting, inadequately preparing for and comprehensively mismanaging it during an RNAV visual approach at Tel Aviv and during the subsequent attempt at a missed approach. 
The investigation identified significant issues with crew understanding of automation, especially in respect of both the use of FMS modes and operations with the autopilot off but the autothrottle on and highlighted the inadequate provision by the aircraft operator of both procedures and pilot training for this type of approach. Learjet 24, vicinity Bornholm, Denmark, 2012. On September 15, 2012, a Learjet 24 experienced double engine failure in daylight VMC as it positioned visually on base leg at Bornholm and an emergency was declared. The subsequent handling of the aircraft then led to a stall from which recovery was not possible and terrain impact occurred in a standing crop at low forward speed shortly after crossing the coastline. The aircraft was destroyed and both occupants seriously injured. Investigation established that the engines had stopped due to fuel starvation resulting from mismanagement of the fuel system and had been preceded by a low fuel quantity warning. Airbus A3200, en route, Southeastern Black Sea, 2014. On February 9, 2014, the captain of a military variant of the Airbus A330 suddenly lost control during the cruise on a passenger flight. A violent, initially negative G, pitch down occurred which reached 15,800 feet per minute as the speed rose to Mach 0.9. In the absence of any effective crew intervention, recovery was achieved entirely by the Aircraft Flight Envelope Protection System. The investigation found that the upset had occurred when the captain moved his seat forward causing its left armrest to contact the personal camera he had placed behind the side stick, forcing the ladder fully forward. Airbus A321, en route, near Pamplona, Spain, 2014. On November 5, 2014, the crew of an Airbus A321 temporarily lost control of their aircraft in the cruise and were unable to regain it until 4,000 feet of altitude had been lost. An investigation into the causes is continuing, but it is already known that blockage of more than one angle of attack probe resulted in unwanted activation of high angle of attack protection, which could not be stopped by normal side stick inputs until two of the three ADRs had been intentionally deactivated in order to put the flight control system into alternate law. Airbus A340-300, Bogota, Colombia, 2017 On August 19, 2017, an Airbus A340-300 encountered significant unforecast wind shear on rotation for a maximum weight rated thrust night takeoff from Bogota and was unable to begin its climb for a further 800 meters, during which angle of attack flight envelope protection was briefly activated. The investigation noted the absence of a wind shear detection system and any data on the prevalence of wind shear at the airport as well as the failure of ATC to relay in English reports of conditions from departing aircraft received in Spanish. The aircraft operator subsequently elected to restrict maximum permitted takeoff weights from the airport. Please leave a like and subscribe to us. It will help us greatly in creating interesting content like this for you and click the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos when we post new content. Ember EMB E550, Paris Le Bourget, France, 2017. On November 27, 2017, an Ember EMB 550 crew ignored a pre-takeoff indication of an inoperative airframe ice protection system despite taxiing out and taking off in icing conditions. The flight proceeded normally until approach to Paris Le Bourget when the captain was unable to flare for touchdown at the normal speed and a 4G runway impact which caused a main gear leg to pierce the wing followed. The investigation found that the crew had failed to follow relevant normal and abnormal operating procedures and did not understand how flight envelope protection worked or why it had activated on approach. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.